Hey everybody, alright, we are entering uh, the beautiful state of Iowa. Oh wait, we're still two miles away. <laughs> yeah, kind of jumped the gun on there for a minute. Alright, the Wisconsin uh, way station is closed. That's a good thing. We're at mile marker two, that means we are two miles east of the Iowa state line, specifically Dubuque, Iowa. Alright, we are down to 924 miles to Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, the temperature here is 67 degrees. Let's back it down here. quite a bit. Been a while though. I think the speed limit here is 55. And below us is of course the mighty Mississippi River. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-B-B-I. runs all the way down to Louisiana. And welcome to Iowa. There you go. So we're going to make our way to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. The people of Iowa welcome to Field of Opportunities. This traffic light and the next traffic light. The 
we go up the hill, and so on and so forth. I remember stopping at uh, the Arby's once in a while. Somehow we're going to have to make a kind of an exit to the right.
I've been at a truck country freight ladder before. So the boss is anticipating that we should get on a wheel alignment, right? And it's a wheel balance. So he calls up this facility that Long Haul Larry highly recommends. And uh, one of the things that Long Haul Larry said was, it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. And they don't mind if a driver takes a video. So I was kind of anticipating for that, you know. Uh, so the boss calls them up and, oh dear, they've got a three month waiting period. That's how booked they are. Three months. John, if you could hear, hello and good afternoon. Greetings from the Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Uh, the temperature here is 69 degrees. Uh, we are on, I don't know if this is 151 or, yeah, 151. And we'll be merging onto Interstate 380, I believe. For those of you who are new to the channel, I used to work for CRST, which stands for Cedar Rapids Steels Transport, and naturally CRST's headquarters are located here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. That was 30 years ago. Can you imagine that? 30 years ago. <laughs> All right, we better merge onto that. Uh, ooh, that's not the right one. I'm tempted just to take 30 west, but nah. All right, so we've got 3.7 miles to the uh, next fuel stop. I've got 299 miles left of fuel, and I really don't want to fuel right now because we're really heavy. 
so I'm thinking uh, we should go down the road a little bit later fuel up but I'll make you a deal if this fuel stop is on the right side of the freeway like if we're headed south and it's on the west side of the freeway yeah why not Who knows? Who knows? miles 30 miles ago so I would say another 30 miles right point of interest my route quick stop pilot truck stop 38 miles yeah 38 miles on interstate 80 exit 201 see you there all right, everybody, we are approaching Interstate 80. Um, we could be somewhere around or near Iowa City. We're currently traveling on Interstate Highway 380 South, merging onto 80 West. For those of you who may not know, Interstate 80 runs all the way from New York City, Bronx, to all the way to San Francisco, the home of TJ, Trucker John. Alright, we are 37 miles away to the inner uh, pilot truck stop. 
right now we've got 280 miles of fuel before we uh, reach empty. So just a little hair less than a quarter of a tank. But we're going to get fuel regardless. In uh, Brooklyn, Iowa, there's a uh, pilot truck stop there. Yeah, you know what? I think I remember. I think I remember that's on the other side of the freeway as well. Oh boy. I don't know. We might have to eat up our words. Then again, there's a couple more pilot truck stop over there by Des Moines, Iowa. So why not, right? Besides, we got one state scale that we got to go through. And of course, the less fuel we get, better chance of us not be being molested by DOT. So yeah, I think we're gonna skip this one. We've got 289 miles. So, yeah, and we're at mile marker 337 over three. Hey everybody, all right. The first scale that we come to here in Iowa and we got a pre-pass. All right, I'm loving it. And they're open too. Come on car. Come on car, go car. We got a free pass, we got a free pass, na 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 na. Woohoo! Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I got that 120 pounds over 80,000 I'm a little bit concerned about. Not much, you know, not that big of a deal, but, yeah, enough to make you shake your boots. <laughs> enough to make you shake in your boots, as they say. All right, we are uh, continuing our journey to Fort Worth, Texas. So I uh, I have rerouted myself to go to Des Moines, Iowa, down to Kansas City, down to Joplin, Missouri, down to Big Cabin, Oklahoma, and the rest you know the rest of the story, right? All right. Oh, fuel-wise, I got 271 miles remaining on fuel before empty. So we're we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. I think I saw a. Uh, if I remember correctly, there is a pilot truck stop just south of Des Moines, Iowa, and I think that's where we're going to get our fuel. All right, later. Hey everybody, welcome to Missouri. Behind us is Iowa, in front of us is Missouri. All right, we are down to 600 56 miles to uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Currently traveling on Highway 35 South. Temperature here is 62 degrees. Now whether they're open or not, as you can probably hear, we got ourselves a pre-pass. So, let's go, your grace. I don't know if they're open yet. They could be closed. We'll 
find out here in a second. Oh, they're closed. The big word is out. Look at that. Isn't that the most beautiful picture? Ha ha. All right, everybody. Um, break is done. Now it's time to go. I got 69 miles to go to Fort Worth, Texas. We are delivering to America on Meacham Boulevard today.
we got 65 miles to Fort Worth, Texas. And that's all I have at the moment. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Good morning, everybody. Johnny B. Good here. Greetings from you fella. Oh, yeah, you fella, Oklahoma. Temperature is 65 degrees, and we are continuing our journey to Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, 220 miles. We are currently traveling on Highway 69 South. Uh, right now I've got 271 miles available of fuel left. My next fuel stop is 150 miles away, which is the uh, Flying J in Anna, Texas. So far, I have, uh, I've had to fuel up twice on this trip. The first time I fueled was 60 gallons, and then the second time, which was last night, I fueled up again in Muskogee, Oklahoma. I fueled up, uh, let's see, 40 gallons, 44 gallons, and so far, by the grace of God, we're doing all right. We have not come across any scale uh, yet, but in anticipation of the last and final scale that I'm going to be passing, which is uh, the last way station here in Oklahoma. That's it. There are no way stations in Texas. Actually, there is. There is one way station in Texas, right there by the Welcome Center, but um, they're usually 99.99% .99 closed. In fact, I have not had the, uh, the experience of going in there. But there's always that one day, right? <laughs> I hope today is not that day, right? Yeah. All right, so let me ask you this question. What would you have done if you were 125 uh, pounds over gross? Let's just say you're 80,125 pounds gross. Would you really go back and try to rework the load? Now remember, they were very short-handed and there was a possibility that you could be there for a couple more hours. boss and I agreed that uh, hopefully, hopefully the DOT will not have a cow for 125 pounds, right? But that was, uh, that was with 50% fuel, not to mention the, mention the reefer fuel. So if ever, if I go through a scale in Oklahoma, it wouldn't, I, it, you know, conceivably, logically, it is not going to be 125 pounds. But we'll leave it up to the grace of the Lord, right?
once again a grateful gratitude to all my Patreons, uh, friends out there. Thank you so much for your generosity. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you. You know who you are. Thank you. Yeah, also there's there's been a few people that have found my PayPal account. Thank you, thank you. A little bit of an update on the uh, pulled pork barbecue. Oh, yum yum. Ooh. <laughs> Too yummy yummy for my tummy, I tell you that. How many meals have I had on it yet? I've had two. I have had two sandwiches. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm trying to restrain myself from eating the whole thing in one meal, uh, one setting. So. for you at the moment. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Johnny, be good here. Have a good and godly day. Peace. Guess what, everybody? <coughs> the way station is closed. Open when flashing, and it's not flashing, so that's the last way station we got to worry about. Of course, there's one down here in the Texas state line, but uh, well, let's worry when we get there, right? But this one is closed, they're in there though, they're in there, they're just temporarily closed. Alright, we're just about a mile and a half, two miles north of the Texas state line. And we are down to 38 miles to Anna, Texas, to the Flying J. Hey everybody. 
everybody, welcome to Anna, Texas. <coughs> All right, we are uh, we're gonna get lots of uh, go go juices today. We need reefer, truck diesel, and DEF. Right now we've got 170 miles of fuel left. And we're gonna top it all off here since there are no more scales that we need to worry about between here and Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth, Texas, it is 72 miles away. I don't particularly like to fuel at this YJ. Kind of crowded. The few islands are quite narrow. But it does serve its purpose. And I don't like that offset kind of looking uh, fuel island. And it should be good. Be right back. 